Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Scum. We are exactly where we left off in episode 4. However, I did check out the uh, surrounding area and there's not much going on here. You can't get in those other buildings. From what I understand, this is all a work in progress, this area. Sometimes I forget how much more work needs to go into this game still. But I think in the future, this area is going to play a major role in both single player and multiplayer. Um, if they put traders in the game, this is where they'll be, and that makes sense. So you can come here and trade goods without having to worry about getting killed. But for now, in the playthrough we're doing, there's not much we can do here. So we're headed northwest. There's a town, and from the map I was looking at, there's a police station there. But before we raid that police station, I'm going to pick a spot just outside of town and show you guys the basics of base building, or at least everything you can build with zero engineering skill. And then when we're done with that, we'll go raid the police station, and then north of that town is another underground bunker. So we're going to head there, hopefully find a whole bunch of guns and ammo, because in the next episode, episode 6, I want to head towards the prison and raid that place. But I heard the prison is one of the craziest, most dangerous places to raid in the game. And, uh, oh shit. Uh, okay, we're good. <laughs> Almost rolled over the Jeep. But yeah, I heard the prison is pretty fucking dangerous, so my hope is that we find enough ammo and loot in the underground bunker to carry us through the prison raid. Alright, this should be the town right here. I'll pull up the map so you guys can see we are towards the southwest corner of section B3. And uh, let's just cruise through town real quick, have a look, see if we can spot the police station, and then I'll pick a spot just outside of town where we can build a quick little base. Alright, this is a good spot in terms of resources. I don't know if the ground is going to give us trouble or not because it's at such an angle, but we're going to find out. Uh, we're going to need rope, so I'm grabbing the wire that I have. Thought I had more. Here we go. You can also use thread, but apparently we don't have any. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? Let's get rid of the rifle, because the more storage space we have, the easier this is going to be, because we can store bundles of sticks in our holsters. Now, we need to cut down these small little trees, and you can use a knife to do that, because that's what we need right now long and short sticks. Eventually we are going to need planks, wood planks, for the door. And to get wood planks you need to chop down a big tree and to do that we're gonna have to make an axe, but let's not worry about that right now. Alright, well shit. The ground here must be at too much of an angle, it's not letting me build. Let's see if we go up here a little bit, if it flattens out. And I'm doing all this in third person just because it's easier. When we get ready to raid the police station we'll go back into first person. Okay, it's letting us build up here, which is nice. Top of the hill, we got a good view of the town. So you want to click and then drag. And you can drag this, like, real far. It's stopping there because the uh, ground is getting a little bit too steep, but that's okay. We just want to build something small here. So once I have it uh, put down, it's going to tell me what I need to uh, get it built. We need sticks, rope, and a cutting tool. Now, I had enough rope, but we need some more sticks. We can use large or small sticks, so let's go grab the ones from the tree I cut down earlier. And now we'll select the small sticks. I think five of them is the max, and you can craft those into a bundle. And then the small sticks we could probably fit right into our backpack. Yeah, we can. And then we can craft the larger sticks into their own bundle. It might actually be easier and quicker to just cut the large sticks into small ones, but whatever. Let's just put these long ones into a bundle. And we can uh, put that bundle into one of our holsters or our hands, but we got two free holsters, so that's fine. Let's bring the car up to where we're building. Okay, uh, before I even start putting these sticks in, let's go get more. Because we're going to need a lot more to uh, finish off this little base. Basically, we're just going to put up the walls, the doorway, the door. And that's pretty much all we can do. We can't put in a foundation or anything like that until we have, I think, basic engineering skills is the foundation. Now, you can't just start adding sticks to the wall if they're in bundles. You have to uh, uncraft the bundle first. And I know, it makes all of this a bit of a pain in the ass. I can't imagine trying to get all of this done 
and watching your back playing in a multiplayer server, but I guess that kind of adds to the thrill of it, right? There we go. Sounds like popcorn, if you add that shit real fast. Okay, that's good. Let's put in an, uh, another wall. Okay, craft. See if we can get it to snap to this one. Uh, there we go. Drag it out to, like, right there. Should be good. Okay, now, again, we need sticks, rope, and a cutting tool. And we're going to run out of rope soon, but we can make tree bark rope from the small sticks. Now we can put our doorway in before we even build that other wall. I'm pretty sure we can anyway. Come on. Uh, I just had it. There we go. That should be good right there. Now we can start adding all of the items we're going to need. We're going to need wood planks for the door, like I said, so we're going to need to make an axe and chop down a bigger tree. The door, though, we cannot put in until we're done crafting or building the doorway. Okay, we need a couple of small stones. Here we go. And with these two, we can craft a small stone axe head. And then with the axe head, rope, and a stick, we can craft an axe. There we go. Let's bring the axe down to our hands. And let's go chop down a large tree, or a larger tree. This one right here will work just fine. Here we go. Cut down tree. And our dude's just gonna one-hand this shit because he don't give a fuck, dude. Imagine how little fuck you need to give to just grab an axe with one hand and just chop down a tree like this. Okay, now, right-click on uh, one of these logs here, cut into wood planks, and we're good to go. Alright, let's get the door in there. And that just snaps right into place. And, uh, oh shit, we need a toolbox. We have one in the truck. Here we go. Front door is done. Now, I really made a mess of this shit, didn't I? Am I going to be able to connect these two? No. Um. I guess I could maybe... There you go. Uh, right there. Okay, this is a pretty awful base we're building here. I'm just trying to show you what can be done with basic engineering skills. I, I mean, not even basic. Zero engineering skills. Uh, and, of course, you can make as many walls as you want and build it however you want. Like I said, I'm just trying to get this done quickly here so we can move on. All right, there we go. What a beautiful little piece of shit this is. All right, um, no foundation. Like I said, we need basic level engineering. There's no roof, so we're not safe from the elements in here. There are door upgrades. I don't know what those are. Maybe you can drag a lock into those. There are these fortifications right here, basic and advanced, but I don't know what these do. You can't kind of, you can't put them on the wall or the door. Maybe you use these on pre-existing structures, like if you want to put a fortification on a door that already exists in the world. I don't know. Not sure. I'd have to look or, or mess around with those a little bit more. We could, if we wanted to, drop a storage chest in here, of course. Um, whoops. Craft. You know, you can throw that down on the floor. And what else? There are some traps you can put down. We can put down a fire pit. Um, there are these, I thought this was the foundation, but it's not. Um, you can kind of put it up on the wall, I guess, as a shelf. If you look underneath it, there's that, like, uh, support beam. And because there's that support beam, you can't put it on the floor, you know? So you can put it, like, right there. But what the hell would you use that for? S to maybe put something on the shelf, or if you wanted to make, like, a walkway around your base... Something you can get up on and look out over the uh, the top. You know, snipe some people out, maybe? I don't know. Like I said, uh, I'm still relatively new at this game. And really new at all this base building. But here's basic engineering. That opens up quite a lot. You can build containers. There's your foundation. So, 
if building is what you wanted to focus on in this game, I would definitely recommend at least getting your engineering up to basic. Because without that, there's not much you can do. Now, in a single player game, I think it's pointless to, to build a base unless you're just doing it for the sheer joy of it. You know? In a multiplayer game, um, you can, again, either build your own base or take over an existing POI. Because I also learned that if you hold down F on the door of an existing POI, you can claim that door and then you can fortify it. So even if you're playing multiplayer, you don't necessarily have to build your own base. You can just fortify a pre-existing structure. All right. Let's get in this place. We're going in with the 22. This thing was doing us well in the last episode. We're getting one-shot kills on zombies, so... Should be good. We don't have many rounds for this thing, though. But I have a spear on me, just in case. And look at this. Fucking tactical shotgun. Right off of the bat, dude. Alright. Now let me search uh, this room here, and then I'm gonna run outside, drop this hunter rifle off, grab some shotgun shells, and we're gonna use that shotgun to finish raiding this place. Ooh, what are those? Flare cartridges. Why are they yellow versus red? Maybe I can put those in a shotgun instead of the uh, flare gun? I don't know. But, like I said, let's drop off this rifle. Not gonna need that. Here we go. Drop off these 22 rounds. We'll also drop off these flare cartridges and grab some shells. Uh, that should be good enough. How many does this shotgun hold? Eight? Can I chamber it like that? No? Alright, let's just pull it up and load it. I love that you have to load every single shell. That's pretty much how it is in every game. I think Seven Days to Die is the only game where, you know, you load two shells and all of a sudden the shotgun has 11 rounds in it or whatever. But that's fine. They shouldn't change that. Because Seven Days really is not supposed to be a realistic survival game. It's supposed to be action-adventure over-the-top you know, in my opinion, anyway, that's what it is supposed to be, and that's what it should stay. It shouldn't try to become too realistic. Uh, this is back door. All right. Now, I wonder, can we claim the front door of this police station and make a base here? No, it's only giving me the option to open. I'm just curious. Let's try this door across the street. So if we wanted to make this house our base. Yep. We can claim for 100 fame points. Okay. That's interesting. I'm not going to do it now because um, no need to. But that is something I'd like to look into and, and uh, try in a different game or just like in a test game. You know, claiming a door. What can you do to fortify it? And all that jazz. Batteries, I'll take that. I keep passing up on these notebooks. Oh, look, there was a, a lock and key right there. Another shotgun. All right, I'll take that. But yeah, I know those notebooks you can use to make a stab-proof vest, but we don't need one of those. We have a military vest. Not sure if there's another use for those, though. And that lock and key... I don't know if you just drag that into, like, the door upgrades or how those work, too. Maybe once you claim a door. Here we go. Dead. Dude, this shotgun is super satisfying to use. The feedback, everything. I love it. Um, but, yeah, maybe once you claim a door, you can put a lock and key on it. We definitely alerted some more zombies, but I think they're outside. That's what it sounds like, anyway. See if this guy had anything on him. Mean, he had this riot helmet, but it's in pretty bad condition, so I'm just going to leave it be. Oh, he might as well check the rooftop. There's some trash up here, and you never know what you might find. Probably nothing, but worth a check, right? Nothing. Oh, shit. What are the spider monkeys in this game? Fuck you, dude. Oh, shot him right off the rooftop. See ya. Dude, this shotgun's a beast. That guy's down there. He jumped at me like a fucking spider monkey. Oh, shit, I left the front door open. That's how these guys got in. 
Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and I'm always saying, too, all you got to do is get inside a building and close the door and you're safe. And uh, I totally just left it wide open. So typical of me, right? Okay, this underground bunker is... Oh, shit, there's a supply drop. It's right near us, too. Just east of us. All right. Well, shit, let's go get that thing first. All right, we've got a couple of zombies around. We just need to be cautious here because they might get alerted to us once we fire off this shotgun. Let me make sure we're loaded here. We're not. Good thing I checked. That could have been bad. Oh, we're clearing here. Okay, well, that's easy. Last couple of cargo drops I got, there were zombies inside. Some ammo. Take that. Some ammo and an arrow. No thanks. Not going to be using arrows. Some magazines, MP5, Glock, and an AS Val. I guess I'll take all of them. Is it Val or Val? I think it's Val. Oh, here we go. Got a Glock. Taking that. And I don't want those M9s. Got enough of those. Uh, stab vest. Uh, maybe I'll take one of these. Just to have his backup. Oh, it's only at like 70-something percent. What about the other one? The same. Alright, well, fuck those things. If they're not in full health. And uh, some more clothes. I guess I'll take these boots. They are better than the ones I'm wearing. And that's it. We're done here. Okay, so we got some ammo, magazines, and a Glock, which is great. That Glock will definitely come in handy at the prison. I think for the underground bunker, though, I'm going to stick with the shotgun. Okay, here we are. We are on, what, the north side of this place? I think we're good in terms of inventory, what we want to take with us inside the bunker. We better uh, use the restroom here before we go inside, though. Get this out of the way. Not sure of the layout here. I can hear a mech. Can't see one, though. Let's just go in right here. Got a building right there. I think we can run for it. Right? Let's do it. Jump. Okay, without being spotted, let's get in here. Got a zombie. Good night. Dude. Do we really need any other weapon other than this shotgun? For real. I mean, we're only going to be fighting zombies in close quarters. And that's not true. I would like to find either a sniper or um, a nice scope for the Hunter 85 and some more 22 rounds. We can use that to pick off zombies from afar. But for the most part, dude, especially in the prison, everything's going to be up close and personal. So hopefully we find a good amount of shotgun rounds down in this bunker. And then we'll take the shotgun and the Glock with us into the prison. Oh, okay. Chill, dude. I won't go this way, then. I'll go out the back door. Let's drop off some of this stuff here. And then, uh, I think I want to eat something, too, before we go in. So we don't have to worry about that. We'll eat, uh, this MRE. Oh, shit. Run away. We better find another way in. Oh, I just heard a zombie. Here we go. Oh, chill, dude. Come on, zombie. Come get some. All right. See if we can search him without getting shot. I see something up there. That might be, like, the back side of the bunker. Oh, shit. Duck behind the tree. Oh, this is so dumb, but I'm just going to push up. I'm going to push up to right there. Oh, my God. How are we not dead? Get behind this. Wow. Um. Oh, shit. We're kind of pinned down. I think this is the bunker, though. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. We're dead. 
How did I survive that? And where the hell is this bunker at? Oh, I think it's over here. Yeah, this is it. Let's jump down there. Oh, come on, jump. Other mech, do not turn around. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Shit. Wow. Either I'm really good at this, or we just got really lucky. And I'm gonna go with lucky. Oh, sounds like we got a zombie right inside here. We do. Oh. Two. Oh, shit. Oh. Took four shots to drop him. Now, granted, he was wearing armor and a helmet, but still. Oh, we're starting off good. Nothing in any of those containers. Here we go. Another military dude, and we just dropped him with one shot. Oh, I like the look of this bunker. Looks like we got a whole lot of shit to search down here. I hear more zombies, but I don't see any. I'm going to leave this open right here just so we know where we came from. Jeez, man. Now, I heard there is a way to increase the amount of loot that spawns, but I think that's just for multiplayer. You know, if you have a your own server or whatever, you can adjust the server options. You can make uh, more enemies spawn in, less enemies spawn in. You can adjust the damage enemies can take. And you can, of course, increase the amount of loot that spawns in. But you can't do that with a single-player server yet. I believe they are bringing configuration settings to single-player somewhere down the line. Um, why can't I sharpen my knife with this grindstone? Ah, fuck it. We got a sharpening stone in the truck anyway. Ooh, a red dot for the Desert Eagle. I'll take that. Now if we can find a magazine... For the 357 Eagle, anyway, that's the one we have. That'll be cool. Even though I still think I would rather take the Glock with me into the prison. Now we can open that door too, but... Let's finish searching this area first before we do that. Another canteen. Alright, I'll take it for now. We already have a can opener. Yeah, I tell you, it's getting a little bit frustrating with the loot. It really is. You know, you, you risk your life trying to get past the mech. And for what? You know? I was hoping to be a little bit more rewarded. I don't want to speak too soon, though. We still have a lot to search down here. Now, if it wasn't for this shotgun that we found at the police station, I'd be even more pissed off right now. But because I love this thing so much, I can deal with the fact that we're not finding shit down here just yet. Oh, box of 357. That will come in handy if, like I said, we can find the magazine for the Desert Eagle. Oh, box of 762. That's good. The AK would probably be the safer choice to bring with us into the prison over the shotgun, but we'll just see. I gotta focus on what we're doing right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put the shades on instead of that creepy ass mask. Not that it matters, really, but that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, but like I said, let's just try and survive this bunker first, and then we'll uh, check out our ammo situation in the beginning of the next episode, if we last that long. And at that point, we'll figure out what firearms we want to take with us. Uh, a throwing star. I'll take that. Another mag for the AS Val. Anything in here? No? What a surprise. Nothing. Some more 7.62. Take that. A couple more crates up here we can search. No. Awesome. Ooh. AK-74U. Alright. Some 45 rounds. Now we're getting somewhere. Because we have... Quite a few AK-74U magazines. I think about three, maybe even four of them. And we have a good amount of ammo for that thing. So, that's good. At least we can say we found something down here. Oh, there we go. 357. Sweet. Now we found a 
red dot, and a magazine for our Desert Eagle. So that's just another functioning firearm that we can use. Alright, let's get upstairs. I mean, yes, the loot has been slightly low in here, but I can't complain. We found, like I, like I was saying, the red dot and the magazine for the Desert Eagle. That's more 7.62 right there. We also found the AK-74U. So, uh, I, I would consider this a success so far. And we still have a lot left to loot, so I don't want to get ahead of myself and say that's all we've found. Oh, hey, buddy. Man, just waiting around the corner for me. Like my daughter, she does that shit. She'll, and she'll wait on you, too. She'll wait like fucking 20 minutes until you walk down the hallway or whatever and then jump out and scare you. She's fucking psycho. I used to do that to her, though, when she was younger, so that's probably why she does it. Uh, 9mm and another Glock mag. Another knife. Some more 45, that's good, because... Like I said, we're definitely taking the Glock into the prison. More 9mm, okay. An AK-15 suppressor. That's interesting. Ooh, what is that? A scope for an SVD rifle. Take that. Now, the AK-15 is just a variant of the AK. It fires the same ammo, 7.62. I don't know if the magazines are interchangeable, but I'm curious to know if that suppressor would work on the AK. Not sure, but that's something we can definitely test out. Oh, another magazine for the 357 Desert Eagle, which is nice because those magazines only hold nine rounds. So that'll be good to have a backup. Hearing a zombie. It's got to be behind one of these doors right here. Some wire. Take that. Here we go. Oh. There you go. Two did it. Come on, buddy. He's stuck behind the door. Oh, <laughs> give me a break. Come on. Uh, <laughs> all right, fuck it. Shoot him right in the ass. Hate to shoot you from behind, buddy. Doesn't seem fair, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Holy shit, not one thing in this room. I tell you, the amount of containers we gotta search just to find some shit. Sounds like there's a zombie in here. There is. How'd you get in here? Oh, there's two of you. Oh, not good. Oh, not good. Oh, really not good. Oh, shit. You're dead. And you're dead. Okay, we're all right. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the stuff we found down here. The AK-74U, a whole bunch of ammo, a couple of scopes, uh, a couple of magazines for our Desert Eagle. But the amount of containers, or the sheer number of containers that we have to go through to find this stuff, it can get pretty frustrating. Well, there's another box of 7.62. I was going to say, if we go through all of this military stuff right here and don't find anything, pff, <laughs> it's just fucking crazy. Um, Alright, we can't open this door, so this is the end of it. There is a way out right here, but it sounds like there's a mech right up there. I'm not going to go that way. Let's go out the way we came in. All right. Moment of truth. Let's have a peek. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's going to be a mech right out here. I just want to see which way it's facing. Okay. It's walking away from us. Let's make a run for it. Oh, shit. It's turning around. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Run zigzag. Ah, oh, zigzag patterns. Wow. And there's a zombie chasing us. Two of them. There goes one. Oh my god. There are just bullets whizzing past our head. I don't know how the hell we fucking survived that. Oh. Back up, dude. Fuck you. You can lay there. I'm not even going to search that guy. Holy shit, like I said earlier, we I'm either really good at this shit, or we're just really lucky. And I'm gonna go with lucky, because, man, any one of those bullets could have taken us out. 
Took a little bit of damage from those zombies. And it looks like our health is continuing to decline. I'm going to have to use a bandage here. But let's get to the car first. Here we are. Okay, I've got a lot of inventory to go through. And ammo to go through. So we can figure out what firearms we're going to take with us into the prison. Right now, I'm thinking the Glock and the AK-74U. But I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'm going to take one of these painkillers. See if they do anything for my health. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. And we're going to pick up right here in this spot in episode 6. And uh, we'll get loaded up and geared up. And then we'll head straight for the prison. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more scum. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.